never heard noises like that in my life. Oh fuck, something just touched me, something just... Like something fully just grabbed my sign. Hospital, and this says Ward 2. They potentially may have housed patients as well. So this is what we're investigating tonight. It is literally mega. Massive, we're just trying to find a way in. This building is extremely old and it's just been sat here to rot away. Hello Spooklots and welcome to another video. So tonight I think we're all in for a scary treat. We're in an absolutely massive home that dates back to the 17th century. We've not looked around it yet so we're all gonna have a little gander together but from the outside all I can say is this is a paranormal investigator's dream. So wish us luck and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe because it does really help the channel. Look at that. They did start doing construction in here but they stopped and just left it about a year ago. What a random little narrow room look. Still some old neck curtains here look. That's creepy. What a random little place. Oh, I've just completely walked off and left Andy. Where's he gone? Oh, Andy? Andy? Oh, he's here. Oh my God, I lost you. When they was clearing this place out, they actually took a fireplace off the wall, threw it in the skip, not knowing its value. The skip driver said, do, do you mind if I have that? <laughs> of course, they said, yeah, go for it. It turned out it was worth five million pounds. And there's no shock <laughs> that guy got fired. Imagine the shock of that. You've just thrown five million pounds in the bin. Yeah, it's crazy. But it's nice that there is still some original. You can see how they've really started like stripping it back. Here's some original features there and clearly like up there on the ceiling too. That's called Magra, isn't it? Originated clothes. Oh, wow. A lot of issues with those back in the day. A lot of people would lose their fingers. Trying to feed their clothes. Yeah, they? and their fingers would get like pulled through. A lot of... It's, all it's cool to see that though. You only normally stuff. see those in like museums, don't you? Yeah. Side. Top bowl. That's obviously the old knocker. Or is it for shackling someone to the wall? Yeah. <laughs> That's a new bit of wood there, look. They've put all these old... Oh, so this is where the old screws came from. So obviously they were preser trying to preserve some pieces, look. Yeah. So this is where each old screw is, has come from. Back of wrinkle latch. So I wonder if they were going to try and preserve some of the pieces. It's really crazy that obviously all this equipment here, they were obviously working, that everything's just been left. Everything, yeah. All of this old equipment, look, like obviously when they were trying to do it up. It's not been used for a long time. No. Wow. See the old fabric? Like tapestry stuff? That would have some value, a thousand percent. And yeah, you're right, the old curtains are still up there as well. Wow. Fantastic. Yeah, we'll have to find that. This is a bit wary walking on this random plank of wood. Oh. Oh. oh, yeah. Yeah, so the original is inside. They've put this. It's nice they're trying to protect, well, they were trying to protect while they were doing the building work. In the picture from the article on the news, it, it looks like this. I'll pop in a clip of that news article as well so you can see. Wow. Would have been such a beautiful place. It's massive, this house is. And I proper feel creeped out in here. Like early 17th century, this was built. It's absolutely incredible. 
Look at the size of that door. Wow. And the big box on it. Yeah. Built for giants, this. Oh. I, I come to the door handle. <laughs> look. It's got oh, two of you. It is. But look. Wow. It's staircases everywhere. I know. We're going to get lost in here. How are we going to find the window to get back out after? We're never getting out of this place. That is terrifying. Whoa. Something knocked. Oh god, there's more stairs going up as well. So that's where we just was. Just think about all of the memories that took place in this building. Yeah. Hundreds and hundreds of years of life. It's mind boggling, really. What is it? <laughs> it's like a roof of some sort. Why is it randomly up here? They were obviously painting it. But you're right though, how did they get it up here and how were they going to get it down? Unless they built it in here. Maybe. Oh look. The old paintbrushes look. Oh that's a rock. The yeah, old... It's not been used in quite. painting. This old heater. Look. It's an old... Oh here you go. That's obviously what they were building. Lantern glass, side ten pieces. Could that be the plan yeah, of is that? Ten, ten pieces. Right, it's a cute little thing though, whatever it is. Comment down below if you know what this was going to be or what it was. I love the old banisters and stuff. I just think they're so cute. Look at all the old timber as well. Where's Andy gone? You gone upstairs? Up there. It's an empty room. Is it? Yeah. It's cool though. What a vibe. Okay, so as I said, this beautiful home was built in the early 17th century. The home was passed down through generations and generations of what we can see is the Elds family. This beautiful home was actually gifted to that family from the Queen to say thank you for helping out in one of the wars. So that is incredible. It was also a place where they used to fly to and from for the war as well. So the history of this place is incredible. You can see it was being converted to a hotel but weirdly last year it just kind of stopped. All the building equipment's still here but nothing since then has happened. With this building it's really sad because it's absolutely stunning and I'm pretty damn sure it's got a few stories to tell. Oh, dungeon vibes. It is dungeon vibes. If this is as big as the house. <laughs> Under here? Yeah. God, this is creepy. It's a creepy little chair there. Did you see the little chair? Hey. Did you see the creepy little chair? Oh, and there's some oh, things please. left. What? Oh, snails. Oh. Got all them snail shells. I didn't even know this. They are massive. Wow. That is the strangest thing I think I've ever seen. Like pottery and some bits of pots. Look in this random chair for an Estes method. Oh, here you go. Nine, April 25th, 1999. God, it just goes on. This is definitely the same as the house, isn't it? This is an old door lock. Look at that. 
Wow. Look at these beams, Andy. Oh, and this in here. That would be where they would have kept meat, maybe, in this little room. Oh, God, it's got a creepy feeling. Like a server, I guess so. Um, oh, that black mould has got all crusty. Oh, yeah, let's Sorry, get out of there. I want to get close to that, Andy. Mm -hmm. All these flies as well. These are all mosquitoes. Oh, God, Andy, I think they are. Let's get out of there. Oh, no, thank it's you. Oh, I'm getting away from that. <laughs> What are you saying? Shall we begin this investigation? Let's go do it, man. Let's go do this. But, Spoo Clocks, if you're getting any vibes or anything, then drop a comment down below and let us know. We're not here to cause any harm to you or to this lovely building. What was that, Ben? We're just here to try and communicate to see if there's any spirits here. And maybe find out why you're still here. What the hell was that? Did you hear that? If that was you that knocked three times a minute ago, can you do it again? What's that? Can you try and do something to let us know where you are? Don't be afraid of us, or don't be nervous. Did we hear you? I've just seen a light out there. Did you? Turn your light off a minute. Oh, wait. Someone's just locked in the car. Is that the front gates? Yeah, I think so. Oh, bugger. Yeah. Are they? Should we jump out the back window quickly? Yeah, quick. So turn your light off and let's just let hide out back here. So a car has just pulled off. They drove off. Andy, mate, this is bait. We're just seeing if there's anyone that's like gone in there. Where are they? Because why did a car pull up, open its door, lock its door, and then drove off? Like, why? And then another car pulled up. Uh, we've sussed it out. We don't think that there's anyone here. It is strange, and I've got to say I'm a little bit concerned. I just think that's really odd behaviour. But we're going to go back in. The f*** was that, Andy? I'm sorry for swear. Oh. I wasn't even recording. Oh, I was. I'm sure I was. We know a car pulled up in it, locked. Oh, there's a car went past, but what was that noise? I don't like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it was banging, but it's something went like, shh, like that, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, I'm freaking out a little bit now. Not gonna lie. Is there someone in here with us? Because I think the last thing we asked before we ran mm -hmm. off, I think I said, can they make a noise? Sounds like something moving out there then. Didn't I ask them to make a noise? You did, yeah, you did. If you were just making a knocking noise out here, you do it again? Let's, Let's go back here. in here, yeah. I'll run, a little bit spirit box. <laughs> Makes me nervous because we won't hear anything then. Should we try that for a 
few minutes first. Yeah. <laughs> You're a bit nervous. Because we have been hearing <laughs> stuff. Yeah, we have. Someone got dragged. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to begin with Spirit Talk. Play you. Oh, I'm jumping now. <laughs> Let's turn this on. If there is any spirits here, we've just put a device on that if you put your energy into it, it should translate into words for us to understand. That way we can understand you and maybe why you're still here and a bit about this building. Can you let us know if you're here? That you have been hearing throughout the night. My heart is racing right now, you know. Is it? Yeah, I feel really on edge. I felt creeped out before, but I feel like proper scared. Now, whether that's the fact that these random cars are randomly pulling up or if it's paranormal, I'm not sure yet. 1,900. <gasps> oh, my God. I, I don't know why, but that terrified me. So, are you from? Run. Oh, we did run. <laughs> we did run. Did you see us run? And it tried to say run. Yeah, that's what I mean. He went like run. Get your get your EVP out now. Because that said run and it sounded like someone was trying to say run. And again, it's from down there. Can you please try and speak to us? This will record your voice. Why do we need to run? I can speak through this. No way. Try and speak through this in Andy's hand. Shout. Who are you? Are we welcome here? Arthur. Who's Arthur? Arthur, did you tell us to run? Drain camera. Drain camera or we'll monitor batteries. Yeah. But yes, you can drain our equipment. I've just put a brand new one in. If it will help you communicate. We asked it to speak into this. I, what did it say? I can speak through this. I'm interested to listen to this. It's almost like it's, it's repeating everything. Like it's like, I can see you. Yeah. I can see what you're doing. Imagine I just keep feeling like I need to check the main gates. Let's see. I can hear you. I was saying I feel really anxious, I wasn't I? It's something's down there, isn't it? We won't harm you. Well, thank you. We're glad to hear that. We won't, won't harm you either. There's something over... Yeah, when I go, oh, isn't it? Did it say children? Mine did. Yeah, I think you're right. Can you turn on this? Uh, 
That just said hospital. Oh, yes. That door. Says ward. Hospital. And this says ward two. Let's keep listening. Something there. Can I listen to that? Sorry. This is funny. I'm around, maybe? I'm around, I think it says. Very quiet, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Oh my gosh, it, it does. It does. Go over there. Spirit Talker said Arthur. This says oh Arthur. Oh my god, that. Listen. Arthur, wow. <laughs> Blue eyes. Yeah, blue eyes. Blue yeah. eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's something at the end right there then. May have been me going to turn it off. I'm just gonna have a quick look on Wikipedia if any of the family members were called Arthur. Arthur, yeah. That'd be interesting. That's pretty interesting. That's amazing. I've never had a name come through Spirit Talker that then gets repeated on an EVP. No. That's the first time that's ever happened on this channel. And, and that was amazing. It sounded like a man going, oh. Yeah, it did. Something over there. Wow. Charlotte. Just reading the names on, on Wikipedia, and as I was saying them, so it moved in there, so I'm gonna do it again. So there was Francis, there was John, there was Thomas, now that, that's the only names I can see. <laughs> No Arthur. No, I can't see. So I'm just going to film an EVP while I look into the family history. But I have just found a, a painting of John Eld, if you'd like to see it. John Eld. John, are you here? Or Francis Eld. No other names. No, I, 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 elevator. I'd need to have a proper look. Why did you say elevator? So Queen Elizabeth gifted this property to Richard Eld as a reward as paymaster for the royal forces. So this was given as a gift by the Queen. What an honour. A hell of a gift. Yeah. Elizabeth's coat of arms is over one of the fireplaces in the hall. Beverly. Associate. Interesting. Or 
No, it's not. Necromancer. True. To me, that says upstairs something. Could you play it to the thing yeah. and we can edit? Right after that said elevator, yeah. I said, why'd you say elevator? That says something like upstairs, something, something. How was it? Oh, it's bad. It's very quiet. Sliced. Interesting. So I said, why would you say elevator? And to me, it sounds something like upstairs, summit, summit. An operational wartime airfield or relief landing ground was opened here on the grounds in 1942. Yes. Um, it says bombers were flown from here up until 1945 but there's a link here to the war basically so the interesting thing is spirit talk just said leg okay but it says they were flown from here and to here so they potentially may have housed patients as well so that's just said we're all around you and i was about to say we're about to turn on spirit box and i feel nervous oh, no. only because there's all these weird noises and cars pulling up and we're not going to hear anything now yeah we've just heard more weird noises and I yeah said, like, from down there again recording. yeah to the spirits that have been using this and to arthur who you said your name that was amazing we're going to turn on another device which we will also be able to hear you through so if you can say anything on there if you can tell us about the history of this place about the family about arthur we'd really appreciate it oh also sorry it said on here when we were just getting that out um introduce yourself did it i missed yeah that. it did we've not done medicine. that yet medicine so that if it was a fault thing yeah. Yeah, so my name is Andy. And I'm Lottie. Can you try and say your name through this device? The children are listening. Oh, the children are listening. Oh, gosh. The first EVP they said, said children. children. Hey, it's quite good that is tonight, yeah. you know. It's linking up with everything. That's fascinating. Can you say children if the children are listening? Listen. Listen. Society. Wow. Beans. Cross that bridge. Cross that bridge. Who are we hearing down there by the front door? Oh. We're hearing someone down here making noises. I was sick. I was sick. I, I thought it said I was sick. Oh, I was sick. Might have done actually. Yeah. Arthur, are you here? Listen. Twice now, mm -hmm. so listen. What do you want us to listen for? Uh, 
Careful. Yeah, I heard that of man. Alice. Careful. careful. What we gotta be careful of? Cement shoes. Cement shoes. Mm -hmm. Trapped somewhere, maybe? Just trying to think if they're using like symbolism. Was that, that, a, pun Was that a punishment years Many ago? They used to cement people's feet into like a bucket. I don't know. Have I just made that up? Maybe that's a punishment that Ant is in Ant's mind. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm just thinking, like, with, with Spirit Talk, if they're putting their energy in for what they're feeling, it comes out of a word. Cement shoes, could it mean, like, they're trapped, they can't move? Like, they can't move on? Mm. I'm just thinking out there. I don't know, but you, maybe that was something they used to cement You're feet. safe here. See, mm. now, the man said careful. Mm -hmm. That's just said you're safe here. So it's, like, contradicting. Oh, that was him again. Him again. Did it say? Some that come. Don't come. Like, don't come. Is the man yeah. Arthur? Close by. More. I'm buried close by. Oh, that was a big bang, man. Did it come from that way again? No, to me, it come from over that way somewhere. So is this Arthur? Because on the on the spirit box. Oh, this sorry. is dangerous. Oh, was that all there? No, it did say upstairs on the EVP. You know what's quite interesting? Oh, that was like a scream. That was spitting out words like, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. "What the hell was that?" I don't know. Turn it up a bit. I can't hear. But since that's on, that's not as talkative. Yeah, it's not, is it? No. Do you want us to come up to that bedroom upstairs with all the wooden panel in? It's... Have we just heard you upstairs? Oh, we have before. <gasps> What's that? What the F was that? What? That entire room just lit up. Because if someone's I'm not, torch. I've no idea. The whole room just lit up. I had a bad past. Oh, I had a bad past. Here we go again. Can't see anything. No. I have no idea what that was. The whole room like lit up. <laughs> what do you mean you don't know if there's a man? Where are you? There's a man going around with a torch? What do you mean there's a man? Oh, off, off. In case there's someone out here, they'll see us. Oh, fucking hell, something just touched me, something just touched my... Oh! Yeah, I've got goosebumps, man. Oh, my Christ. So he just, like, grabbed my side? <laughs> it's Arthur. Don't. I'm shocked. We need to get away from this one. Oh my god. Andy. Oh, my head's spinning. I feel all dizzy, weirdly. It proper scared me. <gasps> what did that just say? What did that just say? Oh, knocking. I was stood there and you like said to turn the thing off. It was like something did that on my side, like like that. <sighs> like shaking there. Jeez. I can't, I was stood here, wasn't I, facing you? And it was like the room, like whoosh. Like at the corner of your eye? Yeah, it's just like the room, like whoosh, lit, like just lit up for like just a split second. It's gone freezing cold. Yeah, it has, hasn't it? Yeah. And I've even got my electric have you? thing on. Oh, I feel nervy now. Nervy, nervy. Yeah, <laughs> it was like, it was quite a firm feeling. 
Like something fully just grabbed my side. Like it was. I say we go. That was a car. That was a car. We go do an estus in that bedroom. Yeah. That was like a footstep upstairs. Which was the way up there? Sean. <gasps> again, again, down there, Andy. It's walking around upstairs. Let us know. Someone up there. Spirit talker said elevator. Maybe that's their way of saying come upstairs because the EVP said upstairs. Is someone up there? We can't see, but we can hear you. Andy, yeah. I've never heard noises like that in my life. Have you? No. That loud? It was like, I don't even know how to explain it. But before it started, I heard footsteps. Mm -hmm. It was like, you know what I mean? Why has it stopped? Threatening. Threatening. I'm hella nervous now. We're going to have to go up there. Yeah, I know. Let's go get the bags. And then we got to go up. Because there's just the one... Yeah. I say what? dumb. Oh, There's just the one window in, and everything else is like boarded. Yeah, so up there. strange. It happened all real quick. It was like EVPs, burst of light. Something grabbed me. Then it was like dum 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 dum. Walk it. There was first, yeah. definitely footsteps, and then that like yeah. something was being shook. And don't forget that man went be careful. Yeah, he did, didn't well. he? I'm playing games. I'm playing games. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go up now and just see. Oh god, this is so creepy. Is it about here? Yeah. Yeah. Do you think we jump into an Estus then? In a year, yeah, because yeah. this is probably the only room that's not been ripped to shreds and still is, you know, pretty original. Do you believe when they get stripped down to the brickwork, does that affect some of the paranormal energy because they're taking some of that away? Comment down below. I know some people do think that's the case, but let me know what you guys think. As you can see, I'm about to do the Estes method. We've come back up to the room, which has, I think, maybe got some original features. See what happens. Obviously, we're just hearing some like wild footsteps from up here as well. So I think it could be interesting what comes through. This Arthur character, we think maybe he's a bit of a grumpus pumpus. So let's find out what happens. Who have we been hearing? Can you resolve here? that light? Have you all? Arthur, are you here? See? We've not seen Look you. Up. There's no love for that man. Did you want us to come upstairs? It's getting dark. Just 
touched my arm then. And it said, look at you, good night. Who keeps touching Lottie? We are. Yeah, we know you are. <laughs> Is there some children here? Nicely. Three. So, so it's playing with my hair. Is there three children here? Friendly. I think. Do you care? Of course we care. We've come here tonight to try and communicate with whoever's here. We want to give you a chance to Matthew. talk. Buried. I was banging them. Yeah, we want to give you a chance to talk to someone. Slice. Hey, didn't Spirit talk or say slice earlier? I'm sure. You'd never did. want to see it, remember? He was. Keep it going. What would not want to You were in it? this bit. Yeah, we was in this room earlier. Be careful. And we heard you say be careful. What, what do we have to be careful of? Which just knocked over me. How are you here? That was very stern. How am I here? We've drove here. I'm Clifford. Ooh. Someone knocked on that. So someone knocked on this wall. A grand place. Who keeps knocking? Show me some respect. We do respect you. Sorry. <laughs> There's tears. I just felt it like on the floor. Did you just like slam down or anything? No, I just yeah. walked. No? Over there? Not hard or anything. Yeah. Who's up here? Are you in this room with us? Just a hundred. How many people can you see in this room? In the second drawer. What's in the second drawer? Are you to blame? No, I'm not to blame. Are you talking to me or someone? Oh yeah, I'm back. Are you talking to someone else? I was in the changing room. Was you in the army? He's up. What was that? He, he's up. Yeah, we've come upstairs. He took it. Die. Die. Whispered, die, whispered them. Do you want me to die? Show me respect. I told you we do respect you. <laughs> I, think, I think he just called you a serpent. A serpent? I think he just called you a serpent. I just told him we respect it. I think it thinks you're a servant or a good servant or something. Oh, servant? servant. I thought you said serpents. No, it's like. <laughs> I, it, it's almost like 
like it's some like wealthy person and it like served. I don't know. Just the way it said it was funny. <laughs> Sorry, it's not meant to be a funny thing, is it this? Sorry. Anyway. I can assure you I'm not the servant. Was this your changing room you was talking about? Is she just last? What's this? Oh, Hello? that's it. Look, big girl. It's completely gone. Oh, and it said earlier about draining. What did it say? Yes. Drain your batteries. Remember? Completely dead. Completely dead. And I charged everything up yesterday for stairs. Yeah. Oh, it's flashing though. Can you remember? One thing there, look. Downstairs it said, I'll, I'll drain your, yeah, it's gone. your battery. Yeah, yeah. It? None of it's really, I'm not getting any direct answers. No. I definitely think someone thinks that we're servants, so. I just said I can assure you I'm not the servant. <laughs> it was like some posh person, like, like, I can't remember something like respect, it was like respect me, something like that. It was like, it was like a man, and then, <laughs> and then it was like a woman when it's like, servant, something like that, like it was funny. So what we've done is we've popped REM pod here, we've got music box out in the hall, we've got the laser out there as well to show you. We've got the laser pointing out that way so if someone walks past that and trips it will go off. Music box there, Andy's filming so if it does go off I will steal that footage as well Andy, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> REM pod, we've got the Fermo pod there, K2 and we're also running Spirit Talker as well. And so if there is someone in this room with us, we've set out a few devices for you to interact with. It is just a way to let us know if you're here and where you are. So if you could interact with something, we would really appreciate it. None of this equipment can hurt you in any way. It is just a way for you to try and communicate with us. Natalie. Oh my Natalie. God. Natalie. Now, those of you might not know, but Thank Andy's you. wife is called Natalie. <gasps> Did you hear massive bang downstairs? Yeah. Massive. Look at that K2 starting to go mad. Oh my God. How do you know Natalie? Do you mean Andy's wife, Natalie? Or is your name Natalie? I'm a bit concerned about a big bang downstairs yeah, though. I don't know. Can't I mean I'm I'm sure it wasn't, but you know, like if, if someone was to jump through that window. History. History. We was just talking. We was. History. Have you just heard what we've been talking about? Again, it's repeating what it's heard like earlier. Yeah. Do you remember when we first put it on? Downstairs, you asked us on this device to come upstairs when I asked you about the elevator. So I know you know how this works. Can you try and speak into it again for me, please? Cabinet. There's a cupboard next to you. Hmm, and yesterday she said something about the second drill down. Oh! Did you put something in a drawer or a cabinet? Was you touching this device a few minutes ago in the middle of the room? 
Do you think you could do it again? Oh my <gasps> god! No! That is way. incredible! Walk left! Walk left? That's good, that is. Thank you. I tell you what, I'm going to put this one next to it because this is also. They might set them both. No, they might, yeah. If I do it like, close. you know, like that. Can you try and touch the other one that we've just placed down? We do appreciate it. And as you can see, it doesn't harm you in any way. We'll give you more energy as well. I'm going to play this one. Oh yeah, sorry, I completely forgot. Completely forgot you didn't even feel. Okay. Wow. Now it says downstairs. A man's voice, quite deep and quiet. Downstairs. That was my belly. Now we're upstairs, it said downstairs. I think it's the same voice as what we had with that Arthur, was it? Yeah. And I he said something voice. like, be careful, something or other. Hmm. Arthur, just to clarify, if you're here and you understand us, Arthur, can you set off one of our devices? Yes. Could you set off one of our devices again, please? Because we do respect you. Because remember Estes was saying about, like, respect me or something like yeah. that? Or something like that. So we do respect you. What's happening with that temperature? Did you see it then? It was like flicking between two. I think it does when it's on the border of changing. Right. Were you quite a, what would you say, quite a wealthy man, quite a well thought of individual, powerful man? Yeah, you know, maybe he was quite a lardy dar gentleman, like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. But that would explain why he'd be quite like grumpy, wouldn't it? Like, you're in my home. Respect. <laughs> Me, you know, that sort of vibe. I'm still a bit blown away by that. Mm. The second I ask, yeah, it's never happened it. for you before, has it? That? Not that quick, no, ask again, Andy. Go on, what did, what did I ask? You just to said, touch it I think you just said, can you touch it again or something? I think, oh, yeah, so that was it because we was talking for a good 15 minutes, yeah, right yeah, and started going off. So could you please touch this device in the middle of the room again? 
Party. Party. <laughs> I would really appreciate it if you could do it at least one more time. Maybe he was just trying to give us a sign that you are actually here. That's just said clumsy. Can you touch it again if that is the case? Red hair. Red hair. Maybe he had red hair or Isn't someone. Isn't the man on that painting have red hair? Oh, I can't remember. Was well, he... Did he have a red top on? I can't remember. He, he, he definitely red had hat. a red, a red, like, suit on. I think, was that John? Yeah, I think so. Hmm. Were you the master of this home? Quiet. If it was your footsteps we heard walking around up here when we was downstairs, can you please touch one of the devices? One of these in the middle of the room. Dipped off now, hasn't it? Yeah, but that was incredible. That, that was. was really good, that was. Good morrow. Good morrow. That's very um, old world, world good isn't morrow. it? Good morrow <laughs> means good morning. Good morrow. Very old worldy, that, isn't it? It makes sense. Someone, you know, used to live here. Good morrow. You know, no. Could you just imagine what they look like? Yeah, it'd be absolutely incredible. Like, these rooms would have been filled with life, filled with memories, do you know what I mean? Laughter, all sorts of wild things. I bet they'd have had a big four poster bed there. Yeah. And now it's just left to rot. It's really sad. I bet you the people that lived here. If they could see it now, I bet you they're heartbroken. I bet you they're disgusted, actually. Yeah. And it always leaves me with the question of how does it get in such a bad state? Mm -hmm. Like a property like this, you would keep up with it, We have so You'd keep up with it, wouldn't you? Like, how yeah. do you let it get into such well, a state? Well, I think quite easily, really. You've got to think if... It was a very wealthy family, generations, generations, didn't have as much money. The upkeep of this a month would be atrocious, wouldn't yeah. it? So you could see how easily, you know, it could fall to pieces, really. And families these days don't live in houses this grand and this large. Ugliest. Maybe they're saying the house now. It's the ugliest it's ever oh. been. Oh. So it's like ugly. ugliest, yeah. That went off as well. Yeah, so what I was saying, maybe because I was talking about it. So like families these days, if they owned a property like this, they'd just live in, in like a small percentage of it because they're not going to have as big a family living there. They're not going to have the cleaners, the maids and all of that running the house for them, are they? No, it cost them absolute fortune. It would. On wages. Yeah, and all the heat and everything. So that's sadly why a lot of them get. Anomaly. What did you hear? It sounded like someone walking down the corridor, but we've got devices pointing both ways. That's creepy. Yeah, a lot of these buildings end up being sold to like National Trust sites and stuff. Which is good because they keep them, you know, in good condition, but. Sadly, this one has been missed. Wind carries laughter. Wind carries laughter. That's said. It's quite interesting. We have said before. Hey, well, and again. Why has it said that twice now we've spoke before? We're ignoring those. <laughs> Materialistic. Yeah, now someone that lived in a house like this. Mm -hmm. They would have been, you know, materialistic. Yeah, they would have. Well, just look around. Just the Gorgeous. decorations are like this. Imagine the yeah. stuff that they had. It is heartbreaking, though, this building. 
Hopefully one day, if it doesn't get restored to a hotel, which is what they started, but stopped last year, as we know, maybe like National Trust might buy it and redo it back to how it w once was. Cost you, you know? millions It would cost millions. But it would be worth it. Because this is just heartbreaking. Tonight has been extremely interesting. I've loved walking around this place. I feel like we're very blessed and very lucky to do what we do. Now, is this place haunted? I feel like, yeah, we have had some interesting things come through. Spirit Talker, which also come through on an EVP. Amazing. Andy asking about the REM pod. The REM pod went off. Absolutely incredible. Those footsteps. Never heard anything like that before. So I'm going to say yes, it is haunted. But let me know down below what you guys think of this building, of this investigation. Go check out Andy's channel as always. And I do hope you've had a good day or a good night. Whatever it is you watch this video, spook a lot. Oh, and also don't forget every Wednesday at 7 o'clock, I have a second channel called Explore Like Extra where there'll be a new video on there every single week. So go check that out as well.